Good morning, um, Cowboy Jim, Northern Alberta, Canada. Um, was just sitting outside doing what I do with the Lord in the morning and um, and talking and praying and listening and all that sort of thing. And uh, I always ask the Lord, do you, do you have a, a video that you'd like uh, to to have some serious input in the making thereof. And uh, he said, yes. And uh, so this this is the video. And um, I, this might be 916 videos. It might be 15 too. I'm not sure. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll determine that uh, after, after we're done. And... Uh, Always, I, I, I make sure that God understands um, that I understand that He and He alone is the author and the finisher of my life, really, my life, and um, and and I, I know that God knows everything. Okay. Uh, he 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 knew me uh, before I was in my mother's womb. Simple. Uh, David uh, spoke what at some point in time, if my memory's working right, that he knew God while he David was still in his mother's womb, and I I think that's that's amazing. But that's God. God is amazing. That might just be the title. Okay. I'm not sure why. I might have a clue. I'm not sure really why I attract rugged people. <laughs> I mean, rugged people. Uh, I have a friend. And uh, he uh, he's from the East Coast. Well, 90% of the people in Fort Mac seemingly are are from the East Coast and in uh, every place in between. I myself was born in uh, Collingwood, Ontario. Uh, grew up at a little place called Wasega Beach. And I, I, I knew God. I didn't know all his names, I'd heard quite a bit, uh, I'd heard Jesus' name spoken quite a bit when I was younger, but it was not reverential, okay, and, uh, and I'd heard people ask God to damn this and damn that, and gee whiz, I mean, come on, uh, I, I kind of took a different track, and, uh, I, I've never asked God to damn anything. I've tried diligently to never take the Lord's name in vain. And uh, I, I'd, I'd rather ask God to bless something. Dear God, bless this video. The only way it's going to amount to much is if you, God, do bless this video. That you, uh, the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, um, if you, God, through the unction of the Holy Spirit, uh, speak into my heart and I relay what you're saying, uh, then this is going to be a good video. And if not, it's not. It's that simple. Okay. Big rugged friend. He's, he's actually a, a mentor of mine. Uh, he picked me up for coffee and so on and, uh, other morning and, and um, it, it was um, a Tim Hortons uh, day where Tim Hortons, it, it, that's the biggest and best coffee company in Canada. Um, and, and they make good coffee. I particularly enjoy their coffee. Uh, down at the ranch, I had a Tim Hortons coffee pot in my cabinet shop. I had another one in, uh, in my horse barn. 
and uh, another one in in the big ranch house, which I, I built. I built everything, and uh, under under the Lord's uh, uh, in, inspiration, and and you should never let a, a a guy who's not six foot six build build a house, okay? Because I built way too big, uh, way too fancy. Uh, it was fun, but I did it. It's the way it is. And, uh, but my, my big friend, uh, who, who runs Dozer and Ho and Grader and everything, uh, only difference between, uh, him and me is he has years of experience. I, I have, I have a lot of years, but not, not running equipment. And I, um, I have, have chosen to be exactly the same at work as I am sitting in front of this laptop. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm about as real as you're going to get. And that's the way it is. And uh, I, I hope you appreciate what God has been able to do with with this old Irish uh, retired rancher, heavy equipment operator, and dear Lord God in heaven, wasn't I one of the worst cowboys that ever climbed on a on a horse only to get bucked off uh, real real quick, real quickly. Anyways, I was, I am. It's the way it is. So my big friend, uh, he's he is my mentor. I quiz him. He doesn't always know that I'm doing it, but uh, I learn. I learn how to run equipment uh, from the best. Okay, and uh, and so we we uh, we headed down to Tim Hortons. That's where we go. Uh, I have to reach for a Kleenex here. Uh, that's that's where we go uh, when uh, when. Uh, we're starting our day off, and uh, uh, I, I get, see this, okay, uh, it's quite funny. We are so far in the north of Alberta that we don't have a Costco, and Kirkland toilet paper, if, oh, two be three uh, 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 forever over in uh, Australia, he, he won't know this maybe, uh, but Costco is the best uh, toilet paper in the world, and uh, and so I actually have mine shipped north, uh, not by ship, but uh, run north in uh, from Costco, and uh, so I I uh, I have friends and. Uh, one guy said, Jim, the next time you're down in, in the South, uh, grab me a couple of cases of, of Kirkland toilet paper. I never thought I'd be talking about toilet paper, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Okay, so let's move on. Big friend and I headed down to Tim Hortons, and we pulled in. And there was a great kerfuffle going on, and the uh, uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. There were a couple of those uh, young lady and a and a, and a, a handsome looking guy, and and uh, and they were uh, collecting uh, donations uh, for Tim Hortons Camp Day. Uh, it's where Tim Hortons takes all their uh, uh, income from coffee. Uh, and they they have special camps all across uh, Canada, um, primarily for kids that that can't afford to go to camp, and it's it's quite wonderful. And uh, so so a uh, policeman was there, and I I I do what I I do, and so I I I, I passed him over a a bill uh, donation, and. Uh, uh, I, I, I asked the policeman, I said, uh, uh, do you watch my YouTube channel? And he said, didn't know you had one. And I said, well, I have one. And, uh, and, uh, 
told him the story of my son and so on like that. And uh, I said, you know, we have, I have uh, gotten, I have inspirational uh, videos on YouTube. And uh, the rugged, rugged, rugged character uh, driving his cute little truck, uh, he said, uh, he said, I don't like this guy looking right at me. Policeman said, you don't, you don't like him. He said, I don't like him. But he says, Cowboy Jim will inspire you. And I thought, boy, that's a tribute. That was a tribute from a friend who knows me well enough to recognize my heart intent to honor God and to encourage people to consider who and what God, the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, what what that really means to, to you. May not mean much to you yet, but you ever humble yourself and pray, turn from your wicked way, ask God to forgive you, accept Jesus Christ as your uh, Lord and Savior, Jesus, who suffered, bled, and died on the cross, that you might have life. Boy, I'm telling you, you get to know God, and you will have uh, gained, uh, if you humble yourself and pray uh, such a prayer as that, your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and you will spend eternity in heaven, period. So my friend, he says, uh, he said, uh, well, I don't like this guy, told the policeman. I don't like this guy, but he will inspire you. And I can't inspire you, but God can and does inspire those who take the time uh, to listen uh, about my life's experience on, on the ranch and hunting and hunting on horseback. I mean, that's, uh, that's, uh, an honor. I, I don't like walking, but I can walk, uh, 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 a long time in a saddle if the horse is behaving itself and hasn't decided to dump me off. Anyways, so uh, inspirational YouTube videos. That's that's what we do. Okay, uh, next one. Um, lady uh, at, at, at a store uh, getting uh, close to uh, the till and a lady was working there, and and she she said, uh, I said hello to her. She said, uh, is that accent from Missouri? And I, I, I said, no, no. Uh, I, I said, I'm Irish, eh? And, and, and no, I never, never thought that my accent could have sounded like it's from Missouri or Missouri. And, uh, I, I, I was kind of impressed with that idea. And um, I, I, I said, you know, uh, about my son's miracle. And uh, she said, what's your YouTube channel called? There was a, a, a handsome young uh, equipment operator uh, about six foot away. He just turned and looked at, at me and he said, that's Cowboy Jim, uh, YouTube videos. And the lady said, really? Uh, I looked at the guy. I, I mean, I meet thousands of people, eh? and and I mean, I just talk about the Lord, and uh, that's that's the way it is. And that young man knew me. I, I'm, I, I'm not positive. <coughs> Was it from the smoke pit at work or... Um, or not? I, I, it could be that that he had seen uh, Cowboy Jim written on the tailgate of my truck. That's that's where it is. Cowboy Jim uh, YouTube videos, and down the side, 
uh, either side of the box in the back of my giant big black old Dodge Cummins uh, ranch truck, uh, Cowboy Jim, Fort McMurray, inspirational videos. And that's what we do. I try to inspire you. Um, not not to become like me. Don't don't do that. Whoa, uh, reminds me of a a greater operator uh, working for uh, uh, the, one of the two big big companies up here, and uh, he 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 came on the uh, uh, radio and 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 said, "I just saw Santa Claus." running down the road in the mine in uh Negan uh, 325 or 355 truck, whatever. He said it was Santa. And Santa Claus was wearing a cowboy hat. And a friend of mine, a uh, most respected friend of mine, he said, uh, he went back on the radio. He said, that's, that's not Santa Claus. Kind of looks like him, but that's Cowboy Jim. And, uh, and I mean, notoriety, uh, I guess I am the only person in Fort Mac who wears a cowboy hat out of, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of people, but I, this is the way I am. This is how I lived. And I, 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 I got in the North here and, uh, and, and one guy at work said, Jim, uh, please make a video uh, wherein you use uh, the phrase yee-haw. And I, 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 I told him, I said, I've never used that word. And he says, well, you need to. I have another friend. He said, don't, don't you dare make a video that, that you're not wearing your cowboy hat. He, he said, that's, that's not right. You got to wear your cowboy hat. Another guy said, uh, uh, when you're closing the video out, say y'all take care. Well, I I I never talked like that uh, down at the ranch. I, I mean, y'all take care. Well, I do now all the time because that's what people expect. They they expect uh, that's that's how a retired rancher should talk, and I suppose it is. It works, and uh, so. A uh, wonderful lady uh, broke broke my heart. Um, I told her about my son's miracle, and she said, "I I will watch." And she said, "I'll get my husband to watch your YouTube video." She said, "You know, my son of a year and a half old died." I told her, I said, "Dear woman." I don't know why one child lives and another dies. I I don't know. I'm not God. I I don't know. And and then I then I ended up going for lunch at, at my favorite Chinese smorg. Uh, we used to call him a smorg, a smorg uh, buffet. And uh, I, I I watch people that go in there. And they 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 have a girth uh, situation going on, and uh, and 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 I, I avoid that uh, girth uh, growth situation uh, by having one plate of food and not stacking it too high, and uh, so at that little Chinese restaurant uh, up here in Fort Mac. Uh, a taste of the Orient, it's called. Really good food. And uh, I, uh, I went and filled my plate, used some restraint, and uh, brought it back and set it down and took my hat off and quietly just thank God for the privilege and the honor uh, of having something to eat. And, and asking him to bless it and all that stuff. And the manager owner of the place, she was, she was walking by us. I put my hat back on and she just smiled at me. She just smiled at me. 
And I thought, I have this glorious privilege and honor of, of heading out to my truck, climbing in that big rig, uh, firing that old Cummins up and uh, idling down, rumbling downtown, actually, and uh, people staring at Cowboy Jim. And uh, I think, God, you have given me uh, a medium, uh, a platform, uh, an opportunity, a privilege, the honor of speaking of the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. My heart goes out to that lady who had lost her year and a half old son. It's rare that a family uh, will survive after the loss of a child. It's very rare. But you know, you know, you've got to um, fulfill a scripture. It says, know ye not that when you join yourself with another, one with another, ye are become one flesh. And 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 that's sexual intimacy. And uh hey, let's let's hope that um you you don't have too many experiences in your life you have to forget for having done. But if you've done what you know now, you probably shouldn't have, even though it's probably real good. Uh, remember this, God loves you. God has a plan for you. I don't, I don't really know what all God has planned for me. Um, but I'm quite willing and able and capable of trusting him, God, he, God, and I do, and I pray you do. So as always in my YouTube videos, uh, I try to make them inspirational. I try to um, uh, be a person who uh, encourages, not tears down, but builds up. That's, that's what I try to do. And uh, I take a good shot at it. Um, if you have never heard uh, what is called the plan of salvation, well, I'm blessed chalked almost. But if, if, if you haven't heard God's plan of salvation uh, spoken in such a simple manner as an Irishman would do, okay, uh, we Irish... Uh, uh, some smart Irish people. I I I, I miss that part. <laughs> I I um, I love God. I love God because He first loved me. He gave me the privilege and the honor of getting to know Him in Scripture, through Scripture. And in person, I've never met God uh, physically. Uh, scripture says uh, no man can look upon God and live, and uh, and uh, that's the way it is. Moses was hid in the cleft of the rock uh, as God passed by, uh, and he God removed his hand from Moses. And Moses saw God's hind parts as he was moving away. And Moses radiated light for nigh on to a long time until that light, the power and magnificence of God uh, dissipated, diminished. You want to get to know my God? Uh, this is how you do it. Uh, let me preface uh, that by saying you and you alone are going to live until you die. And only you, while yet you are breathing, have the privilege and the honor that God has given you to accept and or reject him. 
And if you choose to accept God, uh, uh, this is a short prayer that I, I have gleaned from Scripture, and it goes like this. And if you say this and you have any meaning in your heart, soul, spirit, your life will be changed. You will be inspired. It's the way it is. This prayer is, is very simple. Uh, even an Irishman uh, like me can understand this. It goes like this. God, please forgive me. I choose to believe that Jesus the Christ is your son, that he, Jesus, suffered, bled, and died on the cross for my sins, that he, Jesus, was buried, uh, died, tortured, murdered, killed on the cross. And um, some religious groups, they, they just try to tear the Trinity apart and all that. Go for the gold. Uh, you're, you're just fighting against God. That's all. And, uh, but if you have enough guts to say a prayer like that, God forgive me, I choose to believe that Jesus is your son. I'm so sorry for having lived the way I have. Help me to be what you want me to be. Well, your life will be changed if you choose to do that. It's, it's a simple fact that God loves you, that God made a plan for you, and it is your choice. You choose to believe in God and or you choose to believe in Satan. It's your choice. You will never be able to blame God for where you end up spending eternity, heaven or hell. It's your choice. My prayer for you is that you choose wisely. My prayer for you is that you will humble yourself and pray. And Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. Kids, I don't care how old you are. Uh, I, I, I knew God when I was somewhere between three and five years of age. I knew there were only two entities on earth who loved me. One was my mom and one was God. By the time I got to be nine years old, I, I, I heard the plan of salvation. I, I finally heard uh, who Jesus the Christ was, is, and, and, and always will be. And it thrilled my heart. So kids, uh, I, I don't care how old you are. Uh, trust in God. Talk to him like a friend. Um, I, I do things in an unorthodox manner because I'm not limited by religion. I'm, I'm limited only by my uh, willingness to let God live uh, through me so that I can show you what is truth. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's what Jesus said. That's the way it is. Okay, God bless you. I, I, I mean, God bless you. I don't know if this inspired you at all. I feel better for having done it. And uh, this may be the only video I do today unless God says otherwise. And uh, so, Father... Touch someone's heart, eh? If, like, if if only one person accepts Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, Father, uh, from watching it, uh, one one of my videos that you inspire me to do, God, it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Scripture says. Uh, when a person repents and turns from their wicked way, 10,000 angels celebrate in heaven. I hope, I hope the angels have been celebrating quite a bit from people watching 
the YouTube videos that God inspires me to make. Your eternity is in your hand. You and you alone will determine your eternal destination. It's your choice. Heaven, humble yourself and pray. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And or hell. That's Satan and Antichrist. Okay, God bless you. God bless you, Aiden. Thank you for watching the, these YouTube videos. This is just so hard to believe that using this laptop, well, I really don't know how to run it that well. Um, I make videos, but that's about where my techno savvy ends. And, uh, but imagine there are people all around the world who watch these YouTube videos and my attempting with my whole heart to honor God. So God bless you and you all take care. Amen and amen.